Okay, everybody, we're back. It is 2019 season. We're way ahead of the game this year, way ahead of the game. Um, this year, we're growing uh, some blue cookies, and we went back with the Candyland this year. Um, this row down there is all of my blue cookie strain. Blue cookie strain is a monster also. It doesn't play around. That's a blue cookie strain out there. I'm netting up already because they're just getting so big. I started pretty early. I think I had everything out in um, early April with supplemental lights. End of April. Mm, I guess about April. 20 something I'm sorry May 20 something I um, cut the lights and I think I went straight to uh, sunlight but in April I was running some supplemental lights on them and I had some uh, on a timer that is with Outside, I put them all outside, and I had them under kind of a a tent structure with really no with a light covering mesh net in case it got a little cold. They wouldn't get too cold, and I put some spotlights on them and put a timer on them. Uh, this is my candy land row. This one right here was kind of small. I'm out here putting some nets on right now, but this candy land row. Pretty good, looking pretty good. I'm way ahead of the game though. This guy down here, almost taller than me, about six feet. And um, we're just now in July. Let's get an overhead view here. It's candy land in this pot. I had this pot last year. It had a little problems out of this pot. So I put one of the smaller plants in there. And instead of me changing the dirt, I just amended the dirt and did some other stuff. And see if it acted um, any better. It was in that spot right there. Sometimes the roots go through these smart pots. And they'll go down in the ground. And something's in the ground, I thought maybe. There used to be a swimming pool here, and maybe I thought there was some water settlement and the roots were going down there. It didn't like something, but this pot was in that spot right there. So what I did is I put a tarp down, and I put that plant there with a different pot, but it seems to be thriving. So maybe it was in this pot, the problem. But that's a candy land. We got a big monster. It's um, blue cookies over here. Also. But man, we're just now in July and I'm starting to trellis. Normally, don't do that till September or something. So. I got my work cut out for me this time. I went out earlier to get bigger. Well, I'm going to face a different dilemma. Got one out here in a little single pot. The rest of those are in 45 gallons. This one is in a uh, 35 gallon, I think. Well, 10 gallons didn't make any much difference. But I had a different soil mix in that one. And it was running off and drying out too fast. So what I did is I wrapped it with some cardboard and I actually put like a big water holding tray as if you the ones you see on the house pots. Um, but what I used was a hot water heater tray. So when I water now, it holds water in the bottom of the plant a little longer 
And it seemed to have solved my problem because she caught up with everybody else and now she's passing them. More water, more water. Don't believe what people say. When these things start to get big, don't starve them out. Don't not water them, especially when it gets hot. When it gets hot, they need more water. When it's windy, hard winds, the wind running across the leaves, evaporates them fast. They need more water. So over these last days, it's been I've been having both hot and windy in the evenings or whatever else in the day. So water them up, water them up. Make sure you put some amendments on top of your dirt if you're using the water hose. Um, I use a water hose and I go with my drums here. And I use quite a bit of stuff. I never tell you guys about what I'm using and, and what you should be using or whatever else. But maybe I will this year. I use a little bit of, I use this sea bag, sea blast. I kind of swear by that stuff there. I use a good old Walmart blood meal. And I use this fish fertilizer. And I use, which I swear by, this kelp, liquid kelp there. Sorry about the shaking around, guys. I'm using doing this video from my cell phone here. Oh, sorry, almost forgetting something, guys. Don't forget the Earth Juice Rainbow Mix. This stuff here is a miracle worker. Earth Juice Rainbow Mix. I mix all these together. with this and that stuff. I also use, um, whoop, actually I ran out. Um, uh, let me show you the other two bottles. I got two bottles that are missing. I use that, some B1. And I use, uh, see if I can, Find well, the bottles over here. I threw them away. Let me tell you guys what I was using. Uh, some people don't like to give you their mix, but I don't care. I want better growers. Here we go. Silica blast. there cow mag so I mix all this stuff up and big 50 gallon drum I don't put exactly what they said this always go a little under And I, um, what I do is, um, when I go under on that, I just kind of put, um, use my measuring cup, good old measuring cup like everybody else has this, has, and, um, I put maybe three things of that. I always put what they say of that kelp. 
and I always put what they say on the bottle of the Ciba, of the silica and I always put what they say on the CalMag and vitamin B1 I pretty much follow the directions too that stuff there I just put a couple couple cupfuls in there and a couple cupfuls of that in there and a couple cupfuls of that in there mix it all up let it sit for a day or two and then I water that in and this is the results no problems at all so far seen caterpillars early but I tackled the caterpillars I was getting a lot of little caterpillars uh, just starting to put my bug zappers out over there if you see them over there well those are for the moths the moths are the ones who lay all the eggs on your plants and you get the caterpillars <laughs> everybody thinks it's the butterflies it's not it's not I thought that early on in my growing experiences but it's not I'm still putting these nets on here I just kind of got it hanging there but boy I'm not going to be able to walk through here in a little while and still working hard you guys I'm going to wrap this up 2019 Candyland and Blue Cookies let me give you one more shot from the distance of the garden See that? Hope that looks comparable to what it would look like in real life. Adiós, everybody.